back to the channel. So it's been long it's been a while and I thought I would do an updated version of uh my cars that I've got on Forza Horizon 3, so uh let's do it. I guess. Just wait for it to load. Alright. Let's get to it. So first car on the list we got my Rep curve Schmiel 50s old Abarth 595 convertible, which is what I'm in at the start of the video. That's what you, the car you saw. So, uh, yeah, that was a daily at one point. Then you've got an old Abarth 31, uh, sorry, 131. And then you've got my this Chav Mobile. It's an abomination. It's rubbish. An Acura Paul Walker Eclipse on an Acura and you've got this which my siblings made so uh, I appreciate that I don't but and then AMC Rebel and then my replica of Shmuel 50's Vantage GT8 on a GT12 but the GT12's engine sounds similar to a V8 and it looks similar as well and then you've got my replica of his Vanquish Veloce Carbon Edition and then Audi R8 V10 Plus how I'd probably have my dream like spec and then Black Panther's Audi TT replica on a TTS Coupe um, my replica of Jack Ultra Motors R8 minus the roof box because it's Horizon 3 and the roof box isn't in the game and then this is my replica that I just literally got a few minutes ago and it is my replica of Shmuel 50's old Audi R8 V10 Spider. and yes I know this and that one they're both like different generations of R8 but you know I usually with my cars when I build them on this game I get them as close as I can so next car is an Audi RS3 so I sort of just I left the stock wheels on because they look good uh, tire letters and then my replica of Shmuel 50's Audi S5 Cabriolet I know it's on an RS5 but like I said I try and get as close as I can and then we've got a car an Audi RS4 which is based off um, a video that AR12 Gaming and Gingium did. That was the car Gingium was driving. Then you've got a replica of Black Panther's old RS4 that he had for a bit. And then a wide body BMW. And then if you know if you've heard of a YouTuber called Well it was called Wahid Nori, I can't remember his name, but he used to own a car that was basically the same as this. So like M4, wrapped in a satin matte blue colour and then Schmiel 50's third car which was a 123D which is close enough and then Black Panther's old X5 I just wanted to build that because not many people do that and then I think someone who's quite popular on Instagram one of Jack Ultramo's friends blue underscore m3 it's a replica of his BMW M3 that he drives at the moment. It's on air suspension. It's got like HRE wheels and upgrade exhaust. And then J Media, his M3. Um, BMW M3 Horizon Edition, which I got in a wheel spin. My drift build. Even though this one drifts better than that one, which is a bit strange. Then you got an M5, which I got yeah the other last time I was on here. I think it was Saturday. Then M635 CSI. Not, not a lot to say about that. Bubble car. Uh, my replica of chick kicks from cars. Corvette Camaro, Chevrolet Camaro. Sorry, it's just something that I saw that I wanted to build. So why not? My replica of Lightning McQueen, uh, my replica of Vin Diesel's Dodge Charger from Fast and Furious, uh, my replica of The King from 
um, cars. Shmoon, my replica of Shmoon 50's old Ferrari FF. Um, Ferrari Dino 246 GT, which I haven't really driven. I don't think I've ever driven this, just because it's not. I don't really like it. Um, so yeah. And then here's what's annoying, right? This car's worth six million, but unfortunately, as you can see, they they don't have the option where you can just click sell car, which is a bit annoying. Um, so they could have had, could they add that back in? They probably won't, cause no one plays this anymore that much. Then Red Edition Focus RS again, one of Shmuel One Fifty's cars that he's had. Um, maxed out. Done everything to accept the engine, except swap the engine and the drivetrain, and then another maxed out RS, which is based off if I wrapped my, if I got one when I was older, and if I wrapped it, it would be like this. And then just a blue RS with fifteen fifty twos, Jack Ultramotives RS at the moment with like the summer setup, so Enki NTO threes, the side stripe, the white paint, the splitter. Um, this one. I tried building a matte black one with like little pixels on it and it didn't come out very well so I just made it checkered flag style instead. Red Edition RS based off what one of the people at Donut Media drove a few on the new car show. And then Jack Ultramotive's RS um, with like the black wheels because he doesn't have them anymore and I preferred them. So yeah. And then Jack Ultramotive's winter setup. Another red edition, uh, black edition, Jack Ultra Motors RS with the Stancils livery, which I actually made this myself. It's not downloaded. Same with this one, you can tell I made, because the side stripe. These, these bits here were supposed to go over the top of that, and they didn't. But, you know, can't really be asked to change it. And then, grey RS, grey edition of Focus RS. Uh, Shmi, replica of Shmi's old RS that was blue. Jack Ultramotive's RS when he first got it. Green RS. Shmi 150's Heritage RS. Um, then Stock RS, because I just felt like one stock. Oh, wait, no, that was B70 and Wise at one point. Like how he had it, so lowered with the black roof. B seventy and Wise RS when he, before he sold it and like stripped it back to stock. Um, AR twelve Gaming's Ford Raptor, and that was what it was like when he first got it. Oh god, my arm hurts from holding the camera for a while. Okay, and then this one I built up uh, for a, as well, and it looks quite cool. So Shelby GT three fifty R, and then. Ford Falcon, I saw those driving around the map, I was like, I want one as well, they look quite good. A car that I really like the look of and is uh, fun to drive because it's good at sliding about is a Ford Ute Horizon Edition. And then replica of that Fez Girls uh, yellow Fiesta ST, B70 and Wise Old Fiesta ST. His project ST, which I, reminds me, at some point, these need to be changed so that they it's like back to the stock ones in black, so that it looks like his does. And then um, stock my na one of my neighbours has a car that's basically the same as this, so stock Fiesta ST driven all that he drove all the way from Manchester, and then Focus ST. Uh, SVT Raptor, which I drove recently, and I've had that for a while, but I don't drive it very often. Edge Auto Sport Transit Van, another Transit Van, and you can tell what it's supposed to be if you read the back. Um, RS Reese on Instagram, he's got a Red Edition RS. Um, how I would build my uh, Mark 1 RS if I got one. Uh, Ford Falcon GT, Ford Mustang Boss 2, Ford F100, Ford Super Deluxe Station Wagon, 
Vando GMC Vandora Holden Holden Another Holden Another Holden Honda NSX Um and hit a sort uh, GTS Malu, so I think it's a Ute still. And then Hyundai Genesis. Um, this is based off how Slaptrain has hit at one has his at one point with like two tone wheels and in grey because I don't like his new colour and I couldn't find wheels similar to what he's got. Well, I can, but I just I preferred it when he had it like that, so it's staying like that. And then Jaguar Barn Find. 3.8 Mark II, um, a Jeep that I built because I saw um, a couple of videos of Jeeps driving around and they looked pretty cool. Uh, something that I still have yet to start building up. And then Lamborghini Huracan, which was yellow last time we saw it, but I made it green and made the wheels black so it looks like a slightly newer version. And then Mark Wang Car Garages, his old... Lamborghini Aventador that he had. He sold that now, but it's still a cool car. Uh, Master Lago SV, wide body, yellow, um, which I won in a pink slip race a while ago, a few weeks ago. And then Mark Wang's um, Lamborghini Master Lago SV, Lamborghini LMO2, Lancia F Full Fear? Coupe Rally 1.6 HF. The second car I ever got on here, which was a Range Rover Supercharged. And a Black Panther's Lexus RCF. Like, wrapped with the s sort of bottom wheels that were close as I could get. Black Panther's RCF when he first got it, so bone stock. And then Haha -ha Yee, that was his, what his uh, Lexus looked like at one point. It does have a standard issue livery, but I can't get the design stickers I need for it. Um, Lotus 211, which I think on Horizon 2 was a car that my cousin really wanted to get his hands on. Um, then Lotus S Spirit V8. Haven't driven that, as you can see. Maserati Ghibli. Ghibli, Ghibli? Or Gimbley. I think it's Ghibli. Um, Maserati. It's worth quite a lot. So I wish I could sell that as well. Mazda RX-8. Uh, Mazda Speed 3. Mazda RX-7. Which I again won in a pink slip race. Um, my attempt at building a stanced MX-5. Which didn't really work very well. Um, and then. One of the. One of the people who works for Carthorol, he's got an MX-5, and that's what this one's based off of. And then Schmuel 50's old McLaren 650S, which I based off his 650S Spider, but close enough. And then, there we go. Uh, Schmuel 50's Mercedes G63, it's a G65, but again, close as I could get. And then, if you... If you watch B seventy and Y in a few of his videos, you might have seen H sixteen X R Y drives this, and then Y A forty five, C sixty three, that, uh, Myers Manx, Mini, John Cooper works these two, um, R thirty five G T R, wide body G T R. Yeah, I thought of Gaming's GTR when he first got it. Um, the Fast and Furious Skyline. The, from Fast and Furious 4 that Paul Walker drove. And then Black Panther's Skyline. And then Geordie Motive, his old R33 that he used to have. It's re I converted it to a rear-wheel drive. Because it was all drive. Because it's the Skyline GTR. But he's he had a GTT. But that's close enough. And then... Jack Ultra Motives, R32 GTR, with like the Advan livery and the chrome dish wheels, and can't really see, but carbon flyby on there. Um, 2000, a Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR, Oldsmobile Hurst, Olds 442, 
uh, this buggy, which I don't tend to drive because it's pretty slow, and it has basically one gear, Reliant Robin, um, Renault Clio, another Renault Clio, Renault Megane, this was actually a DLC, but it was free, so I was like, oh, it's a free DLC for this game, so I'll get it. And this is the uh, Spaniard GTA Duracell edition. I, it's not got the Duracell paint, no. I, re, I redid that. And then Wahinori, his old Subaru that he used to have before he got his 370Z now. Um, Shell sizzled. Sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, a famous Instagram uh, BRZ that has an RB26, which is quite cool. And Rocket Bunny. And then Waheed Noise Old Subaru BRZ in Nardo Grove with like wide body kit and everything. Air uh, 12 Gaming Subaru when he first got it. Air 12 Subaru when he sold it. Uh, blacked out Impreza. Horizon Edition Subaru, which I like a lot. Uh, Sunbeam Tiger. Tesla Model S, based off the one AR-12 driving one of his videos. Um, my dream build of a GT86, if I got my hands on one. That's how I'd definitely build it. And then Toyota Super RZ. I'm planning on converting this into Geordie Motive's car. Uh, at some point, maybe. But it's the car that Paul Walker drove at the end of number seven. Um, then Toyota Celica, uh, Toyota FJ40, Toyota Corolla, Toyota Celica, an Astra VXR, which a lot of voxels aren't chavy. For example, this one isn't because it's not coded in stickers with blue, ugly wheels and all that. And then a Volvo. I wanted to get the sort of saloon estate version of this, but it's DLC, so couldn't get that. I would get a Porsche GT3 as well if it was DLC. And then Volvo 180E. So, let's go all the way back and hop in the GT86, I guess. Oh, okay. Right, let's try and drive back to the festival then one handed. Oh, we're doing it. Oh god, off road. This where this where grip struggles will be. Now I wasn't planning on doing this, but I think Oh Bear with guys. That's the steering thing. Right. Right. Let's get some sound clips then of all this car. So we're gonna skip this one because you've basically heard it when I've been driving to the festival. So there's no point of like, yeah. And then let's go to. We're not gonna rev these two. I'm going to rev my favourite cars out of all the bunch. So let's do the NSX, Phil. Okay. Forza Vista. And then if we hop on in there. And then start it. Uh, sounds a little bit ricey, I would say. But I know if there's any any, uh, any RSX fans out there, you might yeah get a bit annoyed. So, right, GT12. Uh, okay, Forza Vista. Is it on that? No, it's on the other side. 
right hand drive struggle. Well, I think it's right hand drive. Let me just open this side. I can't, it's hard to tell because I've tinted the windows. So you can't see into the car what what, what side the wheel's on. Should just close that. Oh, nope. Didn't want to get out of the car. I wanted to get in here and close the door. But uh, apparently, it won't let. The game doesn't want me to do that. Let's just like change views a little bit. Yeah, that's one thing that I'm not sure about why Aston Mines have the dial, one of the dials where instead of it going forwards, it goes backwards. Also, this car was white, but then I sort of actually, I didn't, I couldn't repaint it, otherwise it'd get rid of the orange mirrors and it wouldn't look as accurate. So I had to, yeah, cover it in blue, make the car blue. This car um, is close to cerulean blue. Because that's what colour this was. But let's start it, shall we? Right, and then just look out there. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just bear with, guys. It's not. Alright, V10 Plus, what does the V10, I think this V10 is from a Audi, uh, not, sorry, a Lamborghini Huracan. Right, okay. I might, like, open this completely up, because I think I can do that, like, show you guys the massive V10 it's got in the back. No. Nope. That V10 sounds. I will say the V10 on the two Audi on the, all the Audi R8s that are in this game, which is all well, two of the Audi R8s that are in the game, sound sort of sound pretty close to real life. So let's do the TT, the little TT. Uh, open the door. Out. Oh. Oh, oh, what's going on? The controller's a bit wobbly. Where's the start button? Oh, it's there. It's a weird place to put the start button, Audi. You know, it didn't shoot flames, but, uh, you know. Right, and then Jack Ultramar's R8, which I think might have not even had this design which I made that I made. Don't think it even had the design or not. I'm not sure. I might have to have a look. Close the door. And move the camera over there a little. And then start it. And it does sound like his in real life, because his he has a on his R8 he has a tune that makes it pop. Well, it makes it do right. The Audi R8 V10 Spider. Too far. Well, yeah, you get it. you get what I mean. It's not the same car, but yeah, I did the. The roof usually on when I'm trying to replicate a convertible on a normal car is a uh, very difficult. I mean, I know the V10 Spider, um, but the V10 Spider was in Horizon One, but I don't have Horizon One. My cars, and then K 
Okay, RS3. Go around to here. Yeah, this is a bonus. This 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 might take a little while because they've got so many different cars on here. I haven't heard this in ages. Oh, if you listen, makes a little like <laughs> noise from the turbos. And then, sorry guys, keep doing that. Uh, RS5. I was going to start the video in this car, but then I just decided that I might as well start in the first car on my list. Right, open that. Oh, it's manual. Well, I think it's manual. Is it manual? Let's have a look down there. No, it's auto. It just... Audi have made it look like a manual. Alright, RS4 number one. If I click it, L, oh, it doesn't do like the whole thing where you click it and it'll go boom. And like all the doors will open. Just hop on in. Oh, shot some flames there. See, for 2006, this looks like a pretty modern screen. So, yeah. Audi must... Yeah, must be quite good with uh, making things look new. So, walk around. A uh, sort of mini walk around. So, on his car, it was normal R8. He had custom plate which he had on his RCF as well uh, a few years later and a custom exhaust right BMWs now we are on to the BMWs, so wide body BMW, this was my first, this was the starter car I picked, I picked BMW and then you can see on, well, we got B17 Y, AR12 Gaming, Black Panther, Jack Ultramove and then uh, Illuminate, Illuminate, sorry if I said that wrong, any of you are uh, Illuminate fans, and then if I Oh, we can't, can't really see it. Start that. Oh, I've got this car. Sounds so cool. How good this car is. Also, if you noticed, I think... On the back patch flap, I think I've got a Shmoo 150 logo and a car throttle logo. Alright, let's just hop on out and then see. I'll take you guys uh, out here with me. Let me just close close the door. Yeah. Can't open that. Now on this side you got Shmoo 150 and Car Throttle. Right there. And then BMW. Right, BMW. Uh, and then my I think this car this car's basically just standard. Haven't really haven't really done much with it. Alright. Doesn't sound like as raspy as the other one, but 
It does make lots of pop noises, which is good. Um, right. One series, so Shimon 50's old one. He had a diesel. This is, I don't think this is a diesel, but it's a one series and that's what he had. So, open that. Jump on in. Still got a lot of BMWs. Didn't really. I mean, not as many RSs as I have. I've got quite a few. I will admit, but it's just because that's like my favourite car, and I keep thinking, oh, I can do this to an RS, and I can do that one. Right, and then blue and the score in three. Let's go in his car. Yeah, go, go. All these, like, people who I'm talking about in this video, uh, go and look them up on Instagram. Or, like, some of them are on YouTube. Like, this guy has a channel, and it is called Tim Yeah, so 